This is a corporate call. Earl has it on Zoom. Horrified, but too and you No, I, don't, I don't hear anything. No, I, don't, I don't hear anything. I don't either. I, I, 
or anything at all? I don't hear anything. Yeah. Yeah, everybody, I think everybody is saying the same thing. What about them? Yeah, everybody, I think everybody is. Yeah, everybody, I think everybody is. Hold on a minute. Wait a minute. I'm hearing it. Oh, but it's not. That is Hold on a minute. Yeah. Hold on one sec. Hold on one sec. It's like it's muscle. Wait a minute. I got you. I got you. And that is, we want to go out and pay $1 billion at the B, right? That's this billion with a B, one billion to worthy charitable causes uh, across the planet. And we're on an absolute crusade. Crusaders are powerful. It's very seldom you Here find an opportunity that, that has a mission and a crusade Thank wrapped you. in it. But when you do, it becomes unstoppable. Because, because listen, we're, once again, we're, we're, it, it becomes a movement. We're making true believers. And, and, this, and this, this army of believers, uh, of, oh, of this movement of believers can't be stopped. So we're on a powerful mission. Secondly, besides the mission, we also have what I refer to as the dream. And, and the dream really is complete personal freedom. You know, my definition of freedom is being able to do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it and not be controlled by money or time. And the truth is, everybody out there is either controlled by money, the lack of it typically, or they're controlled by time, the lack of time, or in some cases, both. People, some people have neither money nor time, right? But if we, could, if we could have those two things, we could have and own our own life the way we want to. And so our dream is that this, that as we, as we go out, really as crowdfunding missionaries, get that crusade going and bring this message to the marketplace, guess what happens? We get our dreams. We get, we get our, our hopes and dreams. The third thing I'd want to point out to you is that we have an amazing wealth, bidding, uh, wealth building uh, donation platform. It's a three by eight graduated step up matrix. We're not going to go into all the details on that in this call tonight. Get back with the person that puts you on this call. But listen, it, it, it starts with a one-time $35 uh, entry donation, just $35 one time. And for that, by the way, you get some products. They're digital products. You get some e-books. Uh, you get a subscription to Network Times uh, uh, magazine, which is, which is powerful, by the way. And then also you have an opportunity to be part of of a WhatsApp uh, university, and uh, and we'll go more into that as we go forward here. But but for thirty five dollars, you're getting product, and one time out of pocket, everything else comes out of the profit you make. And by the way, I love that. Why? Because it's price for the global masses. You got to think global here. Yeah, you got to get your neighbor involved. You got to get your family involved. You got to get your city involved. You got to get your state involved. And all. That. But listen, we got to think global. This is a project literally for the masses. And by the way, there's big money here. Don't be faked out and think, man, it's, it's only $35. Listen, that little $35 donation is going to cause some people to make hundreds, some thousands, some hundreds of thousands, some even in the millions. It's powerful. And by the way, uh, I have to mention, because this is, this is something that, that is, is most unique, I mentioned that one of, one of the products you get is a, is a subscription to Networking Times a magazine. Well, guess what? Networking Times, a prominent, prestigious uh, magazine uh, in the industry. There isn't there isn't anyone that would uh, in network in, in, in the network marketing industry who the who's who who wouldn't want to be part of that magazine, be on the cover or whatever. Guess what? We received a full endorsement by the founder, the editor of that uh, of that magazine, Mr. Chris Gross. And guess what? He has never in his career ever endorsed a company, but he endorsed Ash Sahib. And was up crowdfunding. That is, hey, listen. That's something that that's something you got to carry with you. That's powerful promotion. That's that's a powerful fact and a powerful truth. Now, the next point I want to make here before uh, I end my part and, and and bring on the next speaker is 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 the idea of timing. And of course, uh, we we heard Nevada Howard as she opened up the call really talk about the idea of being in the right place at the right time. But listen, timing is everything, especially in what we're doing. 
And uh, this is the perfect time to get involved. This is the right place at the right time, right here, right now. We haven't even opened up the doors yet. That's imminent. That will be happening very, very soon. Everything's being put in place uh, in, in an excellent manner to make sure our launch is perfect and, uh, and most excellent. So right now we're positioning leaders. You have a first mover's advantage here to get, to get positioned and, and really to line up your key people to go forward and to really make things happen in a big, big way. And I'm going to tell you something. Over, over the next several weeks and several months, I believe we're going to bring hundreds of thousands, even millions into this program. This is going to be like, this is going to sweep across the globe like nothing we've ever seen. I believe there's a destiny. I believe there's a divine destiny in it. But I'm going to say this to you right now. There's a gold rush coming. If you can hear my voice tonight, there's a gold rush coming. People are going to start discovering the gold mine that's here with was of crowdfunding. A gold mine that's going to fund uh, in the next 24 months $1 billion worth of worthy charitable causes across the globe, grassroot causes, by the way, and people are going to discover the gold rush of getting their hopes and dreams fulfilled here. But listen, I got a question for you. What are you going to, what, what are you going to come to the gold rush with? You, you're going to come with a little teaspoon, play around with a teaspoon in the gold mine? You're going, you're going to get a spade and bucket? One of those little, you know, those little, beach, little, little beach buckets and little, little, little beach shovel? Or are you going to come with a pick and shovel, a big, a, 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 you know, some bigger stuff, and start digging in this gold mine? Or are you going to get a bulldozer and some heavy construction equipment? And listen, that's up to you. But if you're going to play, I say play big or go home. We've got something dynamic here, and the best is yet to be. Having said that, I want to bring on the line uh, my business partner. He, he also is an amazing global director here. Uh, it was a crowdfunding. A, ma a man also a vision, integrity, true servant leader. He really cares about people. And he's very, very good in sharing really his, his heart and vision and what we're doing here with, with, with was up uh, crowdfunding. So I want to bring on the line right now my good friend, Global Director, Coach Blaine Williams. Coach? Well, Mark, can you hear me? I can hear you now. Well, listen, I got to get those uh, donkeys and horses pedaling a little harder to get that on mute going. We had a little uh, fupa on the uh, conference bridge, so thank you, Dale Bonet, for helping out with that and to everybody. Welcome to the movement. I've got to tell you something. Mark talked about the revolution of the movement. I like it. And, Mark, fantastic presentation. I've been a partner of Mark's uh, for over 20 years now. And uh, we have certainly had some great times, and we've had some uh, challenging times, but overall it's been a great friendship, raised our families together. We're now marrying kids off and all those things that go with that. And tonight, as Mark was talking, I was stirred inside about the career we've had in the peak performance business. A lot of it has been in the direct selling industry. A lot of it has been in network marketing. And it's an interesting thing to think of an industry of network marketing it's been around 70-plus years that 97% of the people barely make enough money to cover the cost of their products. And then there's those few people that just seem to have the talents, the gifts, and the capabilities to rise to the top and make a lot of money, a lot of money, and yet most people don't. So why is this different? Well, I want to let you know at What's Up Crowdfunding, number one, it is not an MLM. It's not a network marketing company. There's no investment to be made here. You make a simple donation of $35. In fact, it's not even a business. What it is, it's an activity that was legislated into law in the United States by the Obama administration in 2012 under the JOBS Act. It's called crowdfunding. And what is really amazing, and the reason Chris at Network Times has put his endorsement up behind it, is a absolutely compassionate business owner by the name of Ash Sahib saw crowdfunding as a way to generate a billion dollars for his worthwhile goal. And that is, by the way, I'll tell you in a nutshell, in March of 2017, Ash Sahib lost his only son, 25 years old, taken way, way too early. I think you'd agree with me. And during the time of mourning and Ash seeking to find some real sense, some real meaning to this, 
could only think of one thing, and that was he wanted to give to charity, and he started coming up with the numbers, and he just actually set that number out there so far, so grand, that it was stretched his vision one billion dollars in two years in the name of his son, Christopher. And so, folks, he started to reach out to some of his friends, Fred Bender and Ricky Al, Mark Campese and myself, and said, guys, would you help me reach this goal? And he said, I'm going to do it through crowdfunding, but most crowdfunding projects, by the way, if you're not familiar, do not succeed because you have to be an excellent marketer to get people come to your website, see your project, and donate money to it. And by the way, crowdfunding can be used for anything you want to use it for, starting a company, paying off your debt, your mortgage, taking a vacation, helping someone out in need, perhaps a family member that doesn't have retirement money needs help in retirement, someone that's been stricken with an illness and has no health insurance, someone that has an abuse, a, a, a women's shelter, and on and on and on. Crowdfunding is used for all those things. And he said, but I'm going to do it as Sahib. I'm going to do it different. I'm going to create what I'm going to call rewards-based crowdfunding. I'm going to gather the people, let them come in for $35, which will go into the platform, and I'm going to let them participate in the donations as well. That's right. As you help Ash, the platform will also help you. Mark said it. You can have your dreams come true. So Ash crafted this platform, and it's unique. I've never seen it in my 40 years of marketing, ever seen anything like it. It's a crowdfunding platform that benefits everybody involved, even those that are donating to it. And as a result, we are getting maximum exposure. Leaders from around the world are flocking to what we're doing here. Names like Buck Steffens and Danny Story, Christy Cahill out of the Caribbean, Dr. K out of Florida, Jim Anderson, one of the notable experts in the network marketing industry, Jojo Tan, and I could go down the list of people that we go down, Dale Bonet, former executive with Procter & Gamble, Bobby, Ho uh, Bobby Hornbrook and his beautiful wife Cindy and, and his partner. I, I will tell you that what is exciting about this is as we march across the planet, as we bring these leaders in, as they bring all of you in, you have an opportunity one time for $35. Now, I want to tell you something about how easy and simple this is, how simple and easy this is. You make an entry donation of $35, $10 goes to admin, $25 is a donation that goes to the person's project that brought you in. You then just simply bring three people in who have a goal or an aspiration or even a dream that they want to accomplish. Just three, not six, not 12, three. One, two, three. They bring 35 in. Of course, $10 of that goes to admin, but 25 comes to you. 25 times 3 is 75. Now, here's what is unique about this. Out of that 75, 50 of it is paid forward in a donation into the platform to somebody who is excited about having their dream come true. And then you now are able to receive the next wave of donation. Remember, you just paid a $50 donation forward, and now you can receive $50 donations. And you will. You receive nine of them. All the way through, there are things that take place. For example, at the very next floor of donations, 10%, and from then on, 10% is taken and given to a charitable fund, and that is what is fueling the billion-dollar vision of Ash Shaheed. So on the next level, there is $450 in donations. 45 of it goes into that charitable fund. Also, $100 is paid for automatically on your behalf in a donation to someone that went before you, you are left with $292 and a little $13 fee is paid into admin to support the entire structure. That's about 2% next to nothing. And then, by the way, folks, it goes to levels 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And respectively, there's a little admin fee of 1% to 2%. There's the charitable donation of 10% going into the fund for the billion-dollar cause. There's a donation paid for, but listen, this is what you end up with. $1,700, $45,000, $1,017,000, $1, and by the way, that is only on level five. There is still six, seven, and eight. They are too great to even talk about. They'll floor you over. And how do you do it? Bring 35 in a dream. Help find three people that will do the same. 
and you can start to grow and build. The money coming in is not income or commissions. It's donations. You can use them for whatever you want, and I'll tell you what I think is the best part of all. We pay in and we pay out with what is called Bitcoin. If you haven't heard about it, I'll tell you, you might want to go online and do some reading. It is the most, it's the most dynamic global currency ever in history. In 2010, Bitcoin was worth 10 cents a coin. It's now worth well over $4,000. It's accepted all over the planet, and the beauty of it, it's not under the thumb of any central bank or any central government. It's a global currency that you can use. You can get a Visa card or MasterCard and use it anywhere Visa, MasterCard are accepted, and we will teach you exactly how to use it. Another thing that I love is none of the money is tied up in the platform. Sometimes companies will take a lot of money and then run off with it. Well, Ash is not going to do that, but really, even if he wanted to, he couldn't. Why? Because immediately when the donations come in, it comes out to your pay wallet that you own and control, and you can then use it for whatever you want immediately, paying your bills, paying the mortgage payment, taking a trip, helping with the kids' college education. So I've got to tell you something, folks. It's, a, it's that simple. Have a dream, $35, bring three people in, and I will tell you we're going to do a little training after this call, and we're going to show you exactly, exactly how to do this, how to build a system at Was Up Crowdfunding whereby which crowdfunders never stop coming in and donations ever stop coming to you. What I want to do before we wrap the call up, I want to hear from a couple of our top, top people who are really making it happen around the world. And one of them is my good friend Jerry Stewart. Jerry, take a moment out, greet everybody, and tell them what you are excited about. Jerry, I'm not hearing you. Just a moment, folks. We've got a little challenge on the keyboard. We've got someone hitting the mute button. Jerry, try again, please. Hello, hello, hello. This is Fred Bender, uh, National Global Director with What's Up Crowdfunding. I've just switched us back from that call to this call, guys. Um, we're not going to, they're getting ready to, uh, to, to um, close that one off. But we've got some updates and some things that we want to talk about with you guys tonight. Um, I just need for Robin to send me a message and let me know that you hear me, if you don't mind. Really quick. And I hear you. Okay, great. Thank you very much, very much. So, listen, we're going to get get busy here because we don't want to hold you guys up all night long. Um, I I'm, I need to give a check real quick. I want to be sure that my my uh, my friend and partner uh, in crime, I guess, is on this call with me tonight. And if you're on this call, guy, I want you to just come in and, and just say a little bit, say something, so that everybody know you're here and that. You're still excited and, and, and glad to be a part of what's going on with Was Up Crowdfunding and Was Up Global. Um, so the 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 uh, the other leg of the three-legged stool is a gentleman who has been uh, here from the beginning, along with Ash Sahib and myself. This guy is a guy who is certainly certainly a, a God-fearing guy, a guy that cares about people, a guy that's in this not just for himself and his family, but he's also in this thing to make sure that other people also are able to excel and are able to be successful with What's Up Crowdfunding. And so uh, if you are here, just hit star six. Uh, guys, join me in welcoming to the call uh, the other global director that's on this particular call, Mr. Ricky Howe. Ricky, are you there? I sure am, Fred. Can you hear me? I hear you just fine. You know, Fred, it's something you said there I've got to elaborate on. You said my partner in crime. The only crime I can think of would be somebody not to jump aboard and help us build this thing. And that, you know, I kind of got tickled when you said that, but uh, that would be how I would answer that right there. But, guys, I can tell you right now, uh, we are part of a huge global movement here, and we couldn't be happier 
each and every one of you are on this call tonight and on this movement, but this is something that's so much bigger than Fred and Ash and myself. We talk about it all the time that uh, there's no doubt in my mind there's divine intervention here uh, to have uh, uh, something happen so big and so fast and on a global scale. I mean, that's the thing that we talk about, Fred and I and Ash, that, I mean, guys, this is just unbelievable what is happening and the, the, the quality of people like yourselves on here, every one of you on this call tonight, and, and how fast this is uh, moving. And I want to share something quickly, too, that uh, Ash is working diligently to make sure everything with the IT folks is in order. Matter of fact, he's taking a trip for the next two days to, uh, to India to actually overlook and watch everything. So you can rest assured that everything that we're doing is to make sure that this company not only is going to launch, but we are going to be here for years to come. And that's important, guys. And I, I'd like for everybody to understand to be patient because it's, it's better to be patient than, and, and than to start a company that's not ready and it could collapse. It's happened to too many in the past. So if you're patient, and you know, I'll even say this, why in the world would you not be patient? Because there's nothing else like this on the planet, guys. I'm going to tell you right now, there's absolutely nothing close to what we have here. But the end result is, if you build it on concrete, it's going to last, and we'll be here for many, many years to come. With that being said, Fred, I'll shoot it back to you anytime you need me, buddy. Great. Thank you so much, Ricky. And you, you're absolutely right. I was listening that you speak, and, and you know, it, I, it reminded me of the conference call that, that you and, 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 and Ash and I had with uh, those, uh, the, the professionals, a couple of professionals in the industry who, who had literally started companies. And, and, and actually, they shared their experience, and, and we learned from their mistake. Uh, and that's one reason that, that Ash is doing, just like Ricky said, he's, he's going to oversee uh, some things going on with the IT team in India uh, we, because he made some changes. He listened to those guys. He listened to their mistakes. And he went there to India. He's going to India to make sure that we don't make those same mistakes in our IT, with our IT building the, uh, the, the infrastructure for, for this platform. Uh, you know, and that's one thing it is about Ash. I mean, he doesn't mind listening. If he... He'll listen, and when he, it makes sense to him, he doesn't mind making changes, guys, and that's what's important. Remember, it's not about me and, and Ricky and Ash. I mean, we're here, and, and we're going to, and, and what happens to us in our lives is, a, is just a, 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 a sidebar. But the important thing is what happens to you in your lives. And, and this whole concept of crowdfunding and what we're doing here is we are here to get those smiles. And if you're looking at your computer monitor and you see those smiles right there, that's what we're all about, right? We're, we're all about helping to generate those smiles of people who have needed and are being supplied their needs. You know, that's what's critical. And it's critical to understand that we are not an MLM company. We are a crowdfunding company. We are accepting those donations that we can create that billion dollar gift to the world and when we create that billion dollar gift to the world and we change lives you know some of us sometimes think we're changing lives somewhere else right we're in america but we think we're changing lives in india or we're changing lives in africa or in europe somewhere but guys there are people in america whose lives need to change and we're going to change those lives too what we do now Today, tomorrow, next week when we launch this thing, what we do now is going to affect somebody four months from now, six months from now, 12 months from now. And that somebody could be somebody you know, someone who's your relative. It could be your brother, your sister, your aunt, your uncle. Because what we're doing now, creating that billion dollars to rock the world, is going to affect someone that you care about. See, so that's what makes this exciting for me. But guess what? When you do that, when you make that donation and you get, you know, and you, and you become a part of this and, and you get those three, because we are going to give you three gifts for what you do. We are going to give you three gifts for what you do. Uh, but when you share it with someone else and those people come in, you open up a window that will allow you to get uh, funded for your projects. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to update you to some things that's going on, and, and I already alluded to some of those things, and, and so did Ricky. 
you know, and we, Ricky talked about the, the next two days and, and talked about being patient because uh, we were due to launch on the 15th and 16th of August. But again, because Ash is, is smart enough and cares enough, uh, you know, he listens. And because he listens, he understood that what we needed to do was add some features to this to this uh, this software, to this infrastructure of the software, and so he has gotten with the the um, the IT team to to add those features to ensure that what we are putting in place is being put in place to last. And so, for those who have wondered, well, what has happened? That's basically what's happened. It's nothing wrong. It's just that we're trying to make more stuff right, and that's what's critical that we can make more stuff right. Because it's important that we fix the things that we see need fixing now. We make the adjustments to the things that we know need to be adjusted now so that when we launch, we don't have to worry about those things. Because obviously, there may be some things happen after we launch because, you know, we are the pioneers here. We are blazing the trail here. And so when you blaze a trail, a trail no one is has traveled before, you're the first ones through that trail, then you're going to have bushes and trees and thorns and thistles and, and a few bears and a few snakes and all kinds of stuff in front of you. But see, you keep blazing the trail and you deal with those things because then once you blaze it, the folks behind you, they get an easier, they, they can, it's easier for them because you've done all the hard work. But because you did all the hard work, your name is in the history books because now they know you blazed the trail. You don't hear about the ones who came after. In this case, because you are blazing this trail with what's up crowdfunding, right? We go through now the, the, the issues that have to be dealt with. We go through the waiting. We go through the being patient and allowing those things that have to be changed and adjusted. Uh, we allow them to get changed and adjusted. And that's, those are the things we have to deal with because we are the trailblazers. But guess what? The reward for being the trailblazer is that you are the first ones on that matrix. You are the ones to get funded first. You are the ones that are lifted and, and get more funding as other people now come in behind you. Right? That is the benefit of dealing with the issues now, of being patient now, of just waiting and walking your way through this slowly. That's the, that's the benefit of it. So, guys, listen, Ricky can attest to this. Ricky was there from the beginning. It's been over a year that this process has been going on for he and I and Ash. So trust me when I tell you, he would be the first one, Ash would be the next one to say, guys, we want this thing to launch very quickly too. But... We want it to be done right. With that being said, hopefully you understand what's going on a little bit better. And we're going to just kind of take a minute here. This is our call after the call. Uh, thank you, Vani. Vani says, hello, Ricky and Fred. We are happy to be part of this program under your leadership. Thank you, Vani Beth. We appreciate you, too. She is one of our phenomenal leaders in, in Ireland. Uh, she has grown a tremendous team over there, doing great things. We're excited to have you. Uh, on this call with us and, and a part of what's going on with What's Up Crowdfunding. Uh, so thank you very much for that. Uh, others, if you have a comment or a question, we're going to get to that, and we want to answer those questions or hear those comments. Uh, just, you know, you can either type it in and I'll read it, or you can just or star six yourself in, and we'll give you a chance to speak and ask your question. All right? Now, some of you may be thinking about what it is that you want to ask, or answer, and while you're thinking about it, I'm going to invite uh, some others to just come in and say a word. Uh, and, and, and guys, listen, this is not scripted, so you don't have to worry about, you know, you don't have to think that we, are, um, we set this up, because some, of the, some people on this call, I'm going to call you, and you're not going to know it, so I hope you're ready. You know, so like last time we had a chance to talk to Earl, and I might call Earl back tonight. Uh, we definitely are going to want to I'm hear here. from... Oh, he's here! Yes, I'm here. You ready to roll, Earl? Listen, ready to roll. let me tell you guys a little bit about Earl. I, I I didn't know this guy, right? I didn't know Earl until um I got involved in crowdfunding and we met. And this guy has brought to the table so much experience and knowledge about 
uh, cryptocurrency, about Bitcoin, about other companies with, with matrices. But when he saw this one, I remember him saying, man, there's nothing out there like what you guys have. Uh, and we had a conversation. And, you know, Earl, if you just take a minute and come in here and just share your heart with, with the people on this call, I mean, just let them know your experience in the industry and, and what you find so special about what we're doing here. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Can you hear me? Now he's just fine. Okay, hey guys, this is Earl Dixon, and yes, I'm in North Carolina, and I am excited. I get to work with Bonnie Bell on a daily basis. She is just an awesome person, and um, you know, this is not my first rodeo with crowdfunding. Um, at the very first of the year, I had an opportunity to participate in a couple of other platforms, and um, those were all manual processes. The fact where you had to upgrade from one level to the next level and then to the next level, but it worked. I was receiving donations in Bitcoins, okay, and I'm going to tell you, a lot of the Bitcoins that I have today are directly from donations. There are like four different ways. I'm going to share this with you guys. There are four different ways to get Bitcoin. You can buy one directly. One Bitcoin is like $4,110 $4, tonight. You can mine it with sophisticated software like Fred Sun had a server mining Bitcoins, okay? You can invest in a in a in a in a um in a hedge fund like a trust fund, or you can get some donations through a crowdfunding platform just like this. Okay. Now, some people will say some people will say, what's the win win? What's the win win with what's up crowdfunding? How do I win with this program? You win first by helping someone else with their program, with their campaign. That's that's how you win. The second way you win, even if you don't make it to level eight. Okay, but let's just say you make it a level five and you get forty five thousand dollars. Okay, some people will put in no effort and others will put on put in a lot of effort and they will make it to level five, level four and get forty five thousand. Guys, that's ten bitcoins. Do you know that bitcoin is on target to hit a million dollars within the next ten years? And if you could get get your hand on bitcoin now, just by helping someone else, and you can actually get a single bitcoin. Maybe ten bitcoins, twenty to a hundred for others. Do you know how fortunate you will be? I'm just about finished, Rick. Do you know that Bitcoin is considered to be the goal of the internet now? Okay, and crowdfunded by helping others, by helping Asher he reach his goal of donating one billion dollars. Okay, to fight to fight poverty around the world. You can also get what you want by helping others get what they want. I'm excited. People are joining uh, from all different countries around the world. I'm not operating just in my local economy. I'm reaching out across borders, uh, people in Kenya, Africa, um, people in Ghana, Africa, people in Zimbabwe um, is coming in, people in Ireland, people in Australia. Hey, guys, I'm just getting, telling you guys, get in the know now, okay? And let's stay excited, let's bless someone, and let's take this to another level. Thank you, Fred. Thank you, sir. We appreciate that. And you're right on point. You are so on point. And, uh, and, and, and so, you know, I hope people are listening and taking heed. I'm going to bring another person just to share just a few, few seconds, maybe a minute or less, just to share her heart about what's going on with, with What's Up Crowdfunding and, and why they decided to just jump in here and get going. Um, I hope you're there, Lorraine Dooley. Uh, Lorraine, I've known her for many, many years, and she is, uh, she is a networker from, from, from way back. Um, I remember from another company where she rose to the top levels in that company, and uh, she's back for some more uh, with, uh, with What's Up Crowdfunding. Lorraine, are you there? Yes, I am, Fred. Can you hear me? I hear you just fine. Would you say just a few words, please? I sure will. I tell you what, I am very excited. I can't wait till that day when we get to get into the system and, and we get to really rolling. But we are rolling right now. I tell you, the team is growing every day. People are so excited. And I'm excited for everyone else. That's a, a part of this industry uh, is... I like seeing other people win. It's just really exciting to see people win and build their team. Someone called me today, and they were just off the chart because they had their third person, and I was so happy for them, and they know who they are. And, uh, and I'm sure they're on this call. 
But I am, you know, I'm excited about what you guys have done by putting this amazing program together. It is just brilliant. You know, I think, um, and because of you, Fred Bender, you know, when, when you say, Lorraine, you need to do this, well, you know, I listen. It's like when you speak, it's sort of like, oh, what's the guy's name? When, they, when you speak, I listen. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about the billion dollars. Uh, I just, I'm just, i just so glad to be a part of something where I can say to my grandkids, uh, you know, pass on generationally, yes, your great-great-great-grandmother was a part of that billion-dollar initiative to help millions of people around the globe. So back to you, Fred Bender. I am just so thrilled to be a part of this. Thank you. Well, thank you. We're we're excited to have you as a part of this, uh, Lorraine. You and and your husband, Fred Dooley. You know, I remember when I first met you guys. I thought you were just such a beautiful couple. And uh, and and so me and my wife at that time uh, just kind of kind of fell in love with you guys because you reminded us of ourselves. And uh, plus, you know, you had the good sense to marry a guy named Fred. That's always a big big plus. Uh, anyway, um, listen, I want to bring another young lady down on this call, and I hope she can unmute her mic, because I tried to unmute her mic, and I couldn't unmute her mic, and, and she she will know who she is. I don't have to call her name, because she is my whale, guys. She, I went fishing. Uh, I went fishing on the Internet, and I caught an absolute whale of a, of a person. She is uh, unselfish. She is knowledgeable. She has a phenomenal uh, uh, personality. She's always excited and always smiling, and uh, and she has helped so many people um, since she's been been on board with us and a part of this. I mean, people who are not on, just on her team, but people just on anybody's team. Anybody that raised a hand and said I need help, she was there to help them. So, uh, Robin Tanil, if you can unmute that mic, if you're online, listen, go on and just, if you don't mind, share just a few words with us. I, I look, I unmuted myself. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> Thank you so much, Fred, for that nice introduction. And, you know, I really, I really do appreciate, I appreciate you guys. You know, and you know, I've been, I've been hanging around since February. And, um, and I, I don't look at, Fred and Ricky, like business partners or anything like that. We're family. We're, we're, all, we're all family. And, um, and I'm so glad. I'm, I'm really glad to be a part of this. And, um, you know, I've been in network marketing for, uh, for a few years. And, and I haven't had the huge success that I, would have, that I would like to have. And I know I'm not the only one that feels that way because I know there's probably other people out there that have gone through that too. You might have been in a couple of different projects and it just didn't work out for you. You didn't get the success that you wanted. But I do know what I am successful at. I have a passion for helping people. And I'm not a stranger to it. I've utilized my time. You know, I've distributed food to families in need and I've gotten my hands dirty in neighborhood cleanup and beautification projects. And I've taken money out of my pocket to make sure that Children of foster care had Christmas gifts, even if it meant that my children may have one less gift for Christmas. So I am really excited about the things that are going to be happening with this company and the lives that will be impacted. And just being a part of this program will allow me to do what I do best, and that's helping people. And, and you know, yes, we will get funding for our own, own projects, and, and that's great, but what's more important is being a part of something bigger than yourself. You know, humble yourself, help people. That should really be our main focus. And that's what it's all about, people helping people and, and making a positive change in the world because that's what's that's needed more than ever today. And I'm not going to take any more time, Fred. That's it. Well, I'm not going to take any more time. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you, Robin, for that because you're absolutely right. It, it becomes a matter of what have we done for someone else. And, guys, with that, we are going to stop here. Uh, and, and, and take, because I've been waiting for people to, to write their questions or right there in the chat room so I could see if you had any questions or any statements. We, we definitely wanted you to know tonight why we've had this delay. Uh, so understand we've mentioned it already, but it's because we want to ensure that this system is right and it's ready when it's time. I'm going to, before I, I close it out tonight, I'm going to just double check with my, my uh, partner here uh, and just see if he has anything else that he wants to add before we go. And if I don't see anybody raise a hand or write something in the chat room when he finishes, we're gonna we don't we're gonna close it out. So, Ricky, did you have any anything else that you wanted to add before we close it out? 
Yeah, I sure would real quick, Fred. I, I really want to kind of expand on what Robin said. Uh, this goes beyond uh, business partners. We, we have truly become a family, and Robin has become one of the great leaders uh, in, in our business, and, and you can't help but to love her. And by the way, Lorraine, hello. I, did, I meant to tell you that Saturday when we were on the call. It's great to hear your voice. But, guys, what, what we have here is something very unique and very special, and there's nothing but an upside to this. I, I always struggle when anybody gives you any flack about it, but $35 to help the world and then build your own hopes and dreams, really? Come on. But I will say this. Being a, a, a founder in anything or a visionary, I guess, is, is more the word. I, I want to share a couple of things with uh, uh, very, very quickly. Uh, I'll, I'll go with uh, Mark Zuckerberg in Facebook. Uh, I remember reading about him that uh, you know he had this vision of this thing called Facebook, and he called up everybody knew about five people showed up to have a little meeting. He shared his vision, and two, you know, three of them said, you know, this guy's nuts. He's out of his mind. No, no chance this is going to work. Well, two of them hung around. You know what? Two of them are worth now billions of dollars. It's the same one with Steve Jobs and Apple. I mean, this guy worked his hiney off, guys, calling people, tried everything he could, and finally had a couple of people that followed his vision, again, become billionaires. Guys, don't let anybody steal your dream. Let me tell you something. We've got great leaders on this call, Fred, Lorraine, Earl, Robin, and many, many others. Matter of fact, we've got yeah, I'll share something with uh, a gal named Cindy that I've become very, very close with. I've shared with her once we get off and running, we're going to have a, a big event in her part of the world. And I'll tell you, she was so excited. It's fantastic. Guys, everybody on this call, look, we're going to travel the globe together and help the masses around the world. And we're going to become a very close family in the meantime. But anyway, guys, with that, look here. Let's lock arms and let's roll and let's make this thing happen for everybody. Back to you, Fred. Absolutely right. Uh, Ricky, you know what? You're right. We're gonna and we're gonna start out uh, hopefully at the, around the mid to late November when we all go to Dubai for that first uh, first gathering that we're gonna have. That's gonna be the first trip around the world, and there's gonna be many more um, after that one. So we're all looking forward to that. So uh, that being said, okay, we, I just just got fantastic Ricky and Freddie. Okay. So uh, thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Beth. Beth says, indeed, we are family. You're right, and we're going we're gonna to treat this just like we're all family because we are. We're all coming together to, to, to donate a phenomenal gift to the world, right? We're coming together to donate a phenomenal gift to the world, and as we do that, we're going to be helping our own families, and you can't get much better than that. So uh, on behalf of, of our CEO and president of What's Up Global and What's Up Crowdfunding, I want to thank you all for being on this call. And I want to thank everyone who spoke, who shared, who kind of put their hearts out there to let you guys see just, uh, just what you're, you're getting into. And, and, of course, my partner in here, Ricky Howe, it's always a pleasure listening to him speak and, and having him here with us because, again, you know, hey, Ricky and I and Ash, I mean, uh, it's been a long time coming, and we're excited that you guys get the benefit of, of everything that's happened thus far. Um, yes, it is, Beth. It is recorded. Uh, so that being said, have a great night. Um, and for those, I, okay, i got to say this real quick because I got these calls today, about five of them from people asking me, about What's Up Global. For those who uh, are familiar with What's Up Global, understand this, that yes, we are still planning to launch in November. For those who still have that urge, don't, hey, the mothership is still in play, guys, and people are registering for the mothership every day. So, so know that that is still happening. Uh, I actually registered two or three people today, and and, and it's still going on. The mothership is ready. It's, it's building. Actually, it's not ready, but they're continuing to prepare it to be ready. Uh, so we are continuing to focus on crowdfunding right now because we're going to launch very, very soon. And for those, of course, who are, are, are going to get funded through crowdfunding, you can then have the funds you need to, to activate when we launch uh, global. Okay? So we are still there. We haven't forgot about none of that, guys. Ricky, how could they think we forget about global? <laughs> no way. No way. That's where our heart belongs right there. There you go. That's where you started. 
Hey, that's that's the mothership. I, I got that from Ricky. That's the mothership, guys. And so we are still right there with you. So we're excited for both of these. Some of you may be confused. Don't be confused. There's nothing to be confused about. Here's what you need to know. Let's get moving on crowdfunding. That's where you need to be focused at. And for the person that brought you into crowdfunding, when you get a break, just call the upline and say, can you tell me a little bit more about global? Because you want to know about that. But the focus right now is crowdfunding. Okay? Hey, guys, have a phenomenal night. Uh, expect the next call to be on Thursday night at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Okay? 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And uh, and if you're if you are uh, wondering which conference call line, it's going to be this line uh, that you're on right now, and that will then we'll go back to the corporate line on Saturday, and from that moment forward, we'll stay on the corporate line. Okay, so you'll be getting more information about that later. Have a phenomenal night, everyone. We'll talk to you later, and when I unmute you. Just say goodbye, okay? Just just say goodbye, Fred and Ricky. That's all we want to hear. Can you do that? Unmuted. And Ricky. Goodbye. Bye, Fred and Ricky. Bye, Eleanor and, and, and Claudia. We'll see you later. Take care. Thanks, Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye, Ocell. Bye-bye, y'all. Bye-bye. Hey, Vanita, how you doing? We'll talk to you later, okay? Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. See you later, GP. And one... Vanita, how you doing? I hope you have... You're muted. I unmuted everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Let me stop screen share. All right. So what did y'all think about that call? Great. Awesome. 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 Okay. Hey, Charles, how you doing, man? Hey, what's going on? All right, all right. Glad you made it tonight. Hey, guys, let me let me let me, let me share something with you guys tonight. Um, that's so important. Um, um, okay. So my faith, my faith, my faith, my faith. This thing is greater than me. This thing is greater than you. This thing is greater than everybody that's on this platform tonight. And my faith in God is very strong. I mean, the God that I serve. Um, I see people every day who are struggling with their finances. And, and to close this thing out tonight, I'm going to share this with you guys. And I hope you absorb this into your spirit. Your thoughts are real. Your thoughts, your thoughts, your thoughts are real. And everything you think of thought, that thought is born, is cast into the atmosphere, and is birthed just like a baby. Your actual thought becomes a tangible thing. The thought itself. I'm going to prove it to you in a few seconds. I, got, I know I can prove it to you. Um, your thought becomes, it births just like a baby and it's floating in the atmosphere. And it lives and it breathes just like you live and you breathe. But the first, part, the first thing you must do is own your thought. You must own it. And then when you own it, you couple it. When thought and action, right. it manifests into reality. Let me say it again. When thought in action meets, it manifests in, in reality. Now, the proof is this. There was a thought that each of you guys are going to get on this call tonight. And that thought happened sometime this morning or last night or last <laughs> week. You said, I'm going to be on the call Monday night, okay, with Earl, Earl Zoom. And that thought was born. Some of you just thought about it today, okay? And it was birthed into the atmosphere, and you owned it tonight. And then when you dialed in, when you dialed four nine five four hundred two six eight eight it manifests into reality and now you're here you say well why are you explaining this to us because we think over a hundred things into existence every single day and we don't question it 
this hat yeah, was a thought that I was going to put this hat on. could have put on any hat. But I thought about it, and I took action, and the hat is on my head. You, you, the shirt I have worn, that's another thought that I had. I owned it, and it manifests into reality. So we think of over 100 things into existence every single day, and we never even question it. All of us had something to eat today. Am I right? Yeah. Am I right? All, right. yeah, all of you got so your th whatever you ate started with a thought and then when you move toward it you consume that meal and that meal is gone now okay so why, why am i saying it i want you guys to stop operating out your pocketbook okay now some of you i serve i serve god but the bible said he should provide all of your needs according to his riches and glory if you don't listen your needs. He know your heart. He know your needs. Stop operating out your pocketbook. One of my friends today, one of my friends, long time friends been with me. We've been talking about operating in the supernatural and, and, and stop. Those who say they can, can, and those who say they can't, can't. It's real. If you say you can't do a thing, you just can't do it. When you say you can do something, you can get it done. Okay? How many of you guys going to work tomorrow? Okay? How many of you guys going to eat tomorrow? Okay? Mm -hmm. those, those who say I'm going to eat a meal, if you make it to the mall, you move toward it, you're going to eat. You say you're going to put your socks on, you're going to put your socks on. You say you're going to put your shirt on, you're going to put your shirt on. You say you're going to drive your car, you drive your car. So why is it when it comes to our finances? We can do a hundred things and speak a hundred things into existence. We don't question it when we say we're going to the store and get something. We don't question it when we say we're going to put our shoes on. We don't question it when we say we're going to put our shirt on. But we just do it. Why is it when it comes to our finances, if we have the power to speak things into existence, when it comes to our money, we fall short? So for the people who don't see it right now, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the ever things of evidence of things unseen. One of my one of our partners today called, I saw on you on, on Facebook this morning, he was a little weak in his faith. And he reached out to me and he said, and This is the truth. He said, Girl, I don't think I'm gonna be able to come in to what's out. You know, hours later. Got a check that he had been waiting on. I seen it, I saw it on Facebook and I called him. I said, I told you, uh, start operating out your pocketbook and start operating based on what God's here provide your needs. According to the check came today, he's been waiting on it for months. It came today. So, listen, if you don't, don't focus on the money, I tell you what you do I'll focus on the money, focus on creating relationships with people, and watch how God bless you. Watch how God bless you. I make money every day, not because I'm concentrating on money, but because I'm focusing on relationships. And money come as a result for me, as a result of focusing on relationships. So, if you say those who say they don't have it won't have it, and those who say they will have it will get it. Trust me. Trust me. I've tried and tested. I'm 53 years old, and I'm gonna try and test this upside down, right in the left. And I'll tell you something. I'm going to tell you how I know this. Guys, you think you got bills? Try three to 5000 every month. Sometimes my bank account is, is at 1000 I got to pay 5000 And it shows up every month, over and over again. Every month. Okay? But you got to have that faith. You got to know that you can speak things into existence, and you move toward it with a passion. And this is the, this is the test, and I'm going to be done. The way you exercise this Speaking that the small 100s. Say you're going to the store, write it down, go to the store, say done. Say you're going to get something to eat, write it down, go get something to eat, say done. Okay? Say you're going to go home and watch TV, go home and watch TV, say done. When you master the power of the small 100s and you see how repetitively you're speaking things and you, you, you're coupling it with action, you're owning your thoughts and you're moving it toward it and it manifests over 100 times a day. When it comes to your finances and your occupation, you won't have no more trouble. You will not have no more trouble. It's just another small 100, but you got to make it a small 100. We have a chance to bless people all around the world, not just in your local economy. Reach out across the borders in faith and create relationships with people that you don't know and share this gift with them. And watch how you be blessed. Watch how you be blessed. Give, and it shall be given back unto thee. All right, anybody got any questions before we go tonight? Anybody? All right, so if you don't, Master the small one hundred. Start a journal. 
start a journal. And money should not be the issue. It's just like getting in your car and say you're going to the store. Like right now, right, right, see, watch this. Most of us here are planning on going to bed. Is that true? Y'all going to sleep tonight? Yep. Yep. Okay. All right, that's another small 100. You say you're going, you're going to bed? Go to bed. That's your number one. Small 100 right there. Okay. Get up tomorrow morning. So I'm going to put my shirt on, write it down, go do it. Say, done. Okay. Say so you're going to eat breakfast, write it down, go do it. Say, done. Okay. So if you're going to pay a bill tomorrow, say, say I'm going to pay my bill, go do it. Say, done. And when it comes to your money coming in, the same way you send money out, do not lose your faith. It's just another what? Small 100. This is Earl Dixon. If nobody else have any questions, I'm going to tell you like I always say it. If don't nobody else in this world love you, guess what? Bro, Dixon and do. And if it's God will, I'll see y'all on Zoom tomorrow night at 8 30, okay? All right. Thank you, guys. All right. All right. Good night. <laughs>